Warm welcome to Robert Macho. Hey. Thank you tonight. <laughs> Hello, thank you very Hello. much. Oh, thank you. I'm going to get very inappropriate from here on in. Yeah, so I better hide. <laughs> Doctor, I'm getting tired of all the sexual innuendo. <laughs> innuendo. <laughs> Hi, guys, how's everybody doing? All right. Nice to see you. You too. This is me pretending to be polite. Yeah. <laughs> before I make the first penis joke of the night. Yeah. <laughs> now. Are there any kids in the room? I have to see. Anybody under the age of 12? No? Uh -huh. Okay. Have you seen a grown man scrotum this close before? <laughs> oh. Is that a no? It's a no. You know, it's interesting that everybody's in the dark except for you. Why are you the <laughs> only one who is lit? You have better lighting on you. It's that one green light. What are you, sending a message to Batman? <laughs> green Latin? Yeah. I'm blocking you. <laughs> Thanks for coming right now to see me and say hello. Take it all in, ladies. Take it all in. Admire it from afar, gentlemen. Is it weird to see me? Here I am. I'm Rob yeah. Asher. You know me from the TV show Scrubs. Yeah. I'm not a doctor, although I played one on TV. Yeah. Is it weird for you to see me live in the flesh right here in Sweden? Yes. Do I look the same? Yes. Yeah. Such a fucking group of liars. <laughs> I'm older now, right? No. But you'd still bone me. <laughs> Excuse me. I mean, make love to me. <laughs> Anally. <laughs> See, what's Whoa. fun about this, you guys, is that I played the Todd on Scrubs, a jockey frat boy surgeon who thinks he's God's gift to women, but in real life, I am nothing at all like that character. With one exception, we both have huge hogs. Yeah. <laughs> hogs. Thank you, hogs. <laughs> Thank you very much. What's fun about this for me is that since you, if you know me, you know me as the Todd. So what I can do right now is I can go in and out of character all night long. You know what else I'd like to go in and out of all night long? <laughs> Thank you, man. <laughs> Seriously, I could just straddle that line. Yeah. You know what else I'd like to straddle? Yeah. We could do this all night long. Yeah. That's what she said. Yeah. Okay. So, I played a real guy's guy on Scrubs, right? A guy who got to do and say everything that most guys wish they could do and say if only society would let them. Mm. So when guys recognize me, they come up to me and they just let it all hang out. <laughs> you know, they just want to. They want to high five me. <laughs> they want to spot me at the gym. They want to show me under the hood of their car. The gay gentlemen want to show me under the hood of their car. <laughs> but all the women want to know one thing. What's Zach Braff really like? <laughs> it's like I, and I know what they want to hear, so I tell them. I say, well, Zach Braff is a very generous lover. His only concern is for his partner's orgasm. He doesn't even care if he has one. <laughs> <gasps> I knew it. <laughs> I'm trying to size his audience up and see how dirty I can be right now. <laughs> yeah. I was recognized once by this woman when I was in Las Vegas, and she comes up to me and she says, Oh, you, I know you, I know who you are. I'm in the uh, entertainment business too, she says. She says, I'm a magician. I eat and blow fire. I say, great, my nickname in high school was Fire. Show me your act. <laughs> <laughs> Then I said to her, hey, maybe we can do a two-person show. You could stand on stage and say, and now, ladies and gentlemen, I will blow fire. And then I would run out on stage and let the magic happen. You should have for that. That's the best joke anybody's going to tell you all day. This one's creeping me out with that mask. You could keep it on. This makes for a weird blowjob later. What? Inappropriate? This guy a Donald Trump supporter? What? How are you? 